Today is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm so glad that we're going to be taking back Lent together today. Nancy Golden here, and we're going to be reading from Taking Back Lent. And today is Saturday, day 28. Let's get going. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. I must have read this verse on my wall around 10 million times, but today, for some reason, I focused on the second half. It's quite amazing when you think about it. There is a time to every purpose under heaven, whatever time you're in, be it a job, a family situation, a relationship, happiness, sorrow, contentment, frustration. There is a divine purpose to it. Every purpose under heaven has a God-ordained time. Can you see it? Can you trust God? Can you trust that God has a purpose for that time you are in, whether it is happy or sad, difficult or easy? Sometimes to fulfill his purposes, he needs to prepare us. Sometimes to fulfill his purposes, he needs to shape our character. Sometimes to fulfill his purposes, he blesses us. So when I find myself grumbling about a situation I discover myself in, I can pray for a more heavenly perspective. But I also need to remember to do the same when things are going well and be grateful for God's blessings. Ultimately, no matter what, I need to find peace in knowing that in all things, there is indeed a time to every purpose under heaven. And today's activity? Take some time to reflect on the different seasons of your life and how God has worked in each one, even in the most difficult of circumstances. Sometimes we can't see it at the time, but we can be confident in the promise of Romans 8.28 that God is working for our good. In your mind's eye, envision a piece of embroidery and observe the beauty of the image that was so thoughtfully and meticulously sewn. If you are able to hold a real one, you can flip it over and see the chaotic mess of threads and knots that are made on the other side. God's view is the front. He is working to conform your life into a thing of great beauty. But our view is the back, the messiness of character building, lessons learned, trials endured, and the results of living in a broken world. Be assured, child of God, that your Heavenly Father is creating a beautiful masterpiece of your life, even when it's hard to see. We can always take great comfort in that. God bless you, and I'm certainly looking forward to taking back Lent with you tomorrow. I so enjoyed being with you today.